Hello and welcome to the Chris Evans Podcast, a part of the Second Banana Media. It is Wednesday, November 1st, 2023. November 1st is always that weird date in Oklahoma because that is when all the new laws come into effect. So uh, brush up on your new Oklahoma laws. There's a bunch of them. Won't bore you with that one here today. But uh, we are talking sales tax, particularly here in Logan County. Going to break it all down and I'll give you all the information as we have it right now. And then, since this is the Chris Evans Podcast, I'll give you my opinions toward the end of this video, but I want to give you all the information here first. But uh, So, sales tax, it's a thing that uh, I like to discuss here a little bit uh, from time to time, but uh, sales tax, we all know 4.5% is from the state, and then 3.75% is a city sales tax, and then the county has a three-quarter cents sales tax, and so that all equals up to 9%. So, when you go by groceries or goods or any type of thing here in city of limit get three city limits you're going to be paying nine percent now if you live out if you go to waterloo road now you obviously wouldn't would not be paying the city of guthrie tax you'd be paying uh the four and a half or the uh, four point yeah four and a half state tax and then the three quarter cent sales tax so it's 5.25 outside of city of guthrie of course it always varies uh, from city to city county to county and right now we, we're going to discuss the three quarter cent sales tax that is placed here in Logan County. Back in August 26, 2014, the voters approved a three quarter sales tax. So it went from zero to three quarters here in Logan County. A quarter of that three quarters went to the jail to help fund the jail. A quarter of that went to the fire departments, 13, now 14, more on that here in a second. And the other quarter of the three quarters goes to county roads and bridges. And that passed 58.1% uh, back in 2014. 3,405 voters turned out that day, and it was a 10-year sunset. So this 10 years coming up in 2024, will it be expiring or will it be extended? More on that here in a second. Well, the voters will decide on that. So what that, that August 26, 2014 vote really turned into a state law. If you remember, Jason Murphy, who was the state representative at the time, uh, introduced House Bill 1400, and it did pass. There was a, uh, the elected officials put the fire, the road, and the jail tax all into one. And Representative Mercy, Murphy and all the other legislators and senators said uh, that's called log rolling. That's another discussion from another day. Some people truly believe that is log rolling, but um, some didn't. So now, as this uh, tax is expiring, it's going to now going to be th possibly three different ballot. It will be three different ballot elections. So uh, the the jail the jail sales tax will be by itself. The fire tax will be by itself, and then the road tax question will be all by itself. We'll talk about that as we go on here. Uh, so what sparked all this is obviously the tax is coming to an end here in about a year or so. And the Logan County fire chiefs of all the fire departments here in Logan County got together and got a presentation built up. And they did this with the county commissioners in a meeting this week. And uh, this was expected. This is the time to start talking about that because, uh, and I'll explain here a little bit, but, uh, you know, if one of the three fails or two of the three, all three fails, this would give more time for the the question to come back one more time, potentially one more time before uh, it would truly expire. So we'll get into this here now. So there's 13 fire departments in Logan County. Now make that 14 because recently Deer Creek got annexed. Uh, they will be receiving some of these county funds. So uh, this tax, and I'll have the dollars here in a second for you, but uh, the, the tax that comes in, right now is split between 13 fire departments. Deer Creek uh, with, the, with the approval of the fire chiefs and then the approval of the voters down in Sutherland County for that Deer Creek area. They are now officially the 14th county here and will start receiving tax money. Uh, the, the fire departments here in Logan County include Cashin, Crescent, Guthrie, Marshall, Mulhall, Orlando, Twin Lakes, Coyle, Deer Creek, Langston, Meridian, Oak Cliff, Sooner, and Woodcrest. One more note on that election that took place August 26, 2014. It was also the same day that the city of Guthrie proposed a 1% increase uh, in their sales tax, and that failed 
uh, by a pretty good margin of 57%. So 57% said no, 43% said yes uh, back in the day. So there was two questions on there. So did everyone, you know, we'll give you the county, but not the city. You know, who, who, who knows on that one? So, so the fire chiefs came together and they are requesting that this county sales tax expect, expect will end here soon to be extended. Also, uh, the jail will also look to extend their sales tax, obviously roads and bridges as well. The county commissioners will formally discuss this uh, in early August of what they want to do and how they want to go about that. But what, uh, so unofficially right now, it does look like all three are going to come back up. Again, all three will be separate votes. And the last one was voted for a 10-year sunset. The question is now for county commissioners, the fire chiefs are asking 20, 20 years, 15, worst case scenario for them. They, we, they would love 20, they can manage with 15. So that's, that's gonna be the, the main question here on just a second. So we'll see uh, the reason why the fire, fire chiefs are asking for 20, but can live with 15 is the increased pricing and everything. And we don't need to get into that because we know groceries and shoes and everything has inflated in prices. So as you can imagine, fire trucks, brush pumpers, tankers, all that uh, PPE gear, all that is increasing. Not only the price increasing, but the supply chain is taking a while for, the, for those to come in. And the more time that these fire departments have time to get these ordered, uh, more time is allowed for them to get all that. So. All right, so that um, that will be coming up. So the time for the election, it looks like right now that voters in Logan County could have a chance. Again, county commissioners will be voting on this probably early uh, or early November. So nothing official yet, but I would certainly think they're going to be on board to send it to the voters. The county commissioners are going to let the voters decide what they want to do. Uh, three different. Three different ballots, one for fire departments, one for roads and bridges, and one for the Logan County Jail. I would, I'm, I'm guessing that might take place as early as March 5th, which is the presidential primary, uh, presidential election. You, the, the county can go as early as February, but uh, if the county were to hold an election in February, they would be uh, in charge of uh, paying for the entire election, which a, an election in Logan County, if you were to, for all precincts in Logan County, would cost about $20,000. But if Logan County can wait until March, when the state has all their precincts open, then it would uh, not cost the county anything because they're already going to be at precincts. So uh, I would I would guess at best March could go into June. There could be a June vote. Doubtful. I think March 5th, um, is the main date uh, and there's one possibly bad thing about that but uh, if you go if they wait till June and one of the three two of the three all three fail then you would not have time to go back to the polls because after a failed election if you want to go back to the same thing you have to wait six months so uh, March 5th is probably the the prime date you're gonna save money and you're gonna have time to go back to the polls if if, if one of these fail the only thing about the uh, one possibly bad thing about that is it's going to be a, a big turnout, which I think is a good thing. The more people vote, the better it is. It's the people's money. So the more people can vote is the better. So uh, you could say it's a bad thing if you're running the election or hoping that it wins. But, I, you know, the more people vote is the better at all, all fails. So, so if you go to March and one of the two, two of the three or three of three fell, you can go back in November and try it again if it does fail. So. Uh, this is this is uh, important to note that this is not a tax increase. The three quarter cent sales tax is not an increase. It's, it's going it if approved on all three of them, it would all stay the same. So it's basically an extension or extended tax uh, right now. Uh, the kind of get to the concerns here. So we're talking about the fire departments, and we'll have more set. We're, I'm sure we'll hear more from Lone County Sheriff's Office and from the county commissioners on the roads and also the jail part of this uh, this three equation tax proposal here. But I wanna kind of give go inside the numbers so you kind of see uh, what this looks like, particularly for the Logan County tax. And I wanna appreciate to uh, say thanks to Troy Cole, who puts all this information on the county's website. So all these sales tax collections, I will, 
I will show you the numbers here because it'll kind of back up into uh, this is all the facts and information. Uh, but here in a little bit, I will give you a little bit of my opinion here. But uh, let's look at some of the numbers here. Again, big thank you to Troy Colt. These are sales tax. This is for this year. And there is one month to go. So uh, one more collection. So at the end of this, when this last month is turned in, which is June, I think Logan County will be around $4 million in county sales tax, which is just awesome. It continues to go up a little bit every year. We've had a really good year year here in Logan County. So we're going to estimate about $4 million in sales tax. So let's just take May, that last month there, for example, and that was $376,000 was collected. A third of that goes to the fire departments, which is $125,403.51. Divide that into 13, and that's what each f county fire department got this that month. Now, if this passed, there's going to be 14, so they're going to get a little bit less with Deer Creek coming in. Same amount, $125,403.50 goes to the Logan County Jail. And then you see District 1, District 2, and District 3. Those are the road districts, of course. Uh, Mark Sharpton, District 1, Charlie Meadows in District 2, and Monty Piercy in District 3. They basically take that 125000 and split that into three. So that's what they get. So in May, $41,801.16 for each district is what the county commissioner got for roads through the sales tax collection. So those are some of the numbers. And again, those are on the county's website, LoganCountyOK.com. And thank you again to Troy Cole for always putting that information in there. So this is kind of the part where I, I throw in my two cents. It's the Chris Evans podcast, so I'm allowed to do that, do that here. So I think the, the, the number one thing, and remember the Logan County Jail was, re, was built not even two decades ago. And at the time, Rob Hudson, the district attorney, reminded all the commissioners at the time that the, the number one statutory and responsibility to the Board of County Commissioners is to provide a jail into law enforcement. That's the number one uh, statutory responsibility that commissioners have. So that has to be funded. The Logan County Jail uh, is going to get around, I would guess, $1.5, $1.6 million for this, from this sales tax. If that, if that sales tax was not there, then the county general government would be responsible in covering the jail. And there's, uh, you know, Damon, Sheriff Damon Nevero does a great job of running that jail. Got a great report from the auditor, uh, state auditor, not too long ago, from the state health department, I should say, on the cleanliness and all that goes into a jail. But if that were to fail, then the county government has to fund that. Then you start taking stuff, money from other programs inside functioning the county government. So I think that is obviously the number one answer. That goes away, uh, then other things go away. The number two thing on there is obviously the fire departments. No one, everyone loves the fire departments and rightfully so, uh, you know, been been to many house fires and grass fires. It's a very scary situation. And if it's your house or your field on fire, you want the best equipment there. You want the best firefighters there. And so that is, that is daily stuff. That is so important to have. And this, you know, again, uh, the fire department's going to be about 1.2, 1.5, 1 $1.6 million. If that goes away, then where, you know, how, how are these fire departments going to be funded? And this is not counting EMS, which is a whole other situation as well. And then the other one is the roads and bridges. In each district, again, $401,000 for each district does not go a long way when you're tr wanting to build roads or maintain roads. It goes a long way. And a lot of people complain about roads and, and bridges, rightfully so. If that money goes away, then it's going to be even less uh, resources going to roads and bridges. So all three of these are very, very important. Uh, again, number one, I truly believe is the jail. Number two, the fire departments. And number three, roads and bridges. So this, uh, again, the county commissioners will get together here in uh, beginning of November and we'll decide what date. And I think it's going to be that March date, March 5th date to go out to the people of, of the voters of Logan County to decide uh, if this tax should be extended. It's not an increase, but an extension of the tax. The other question is, will the commissioners want to do 15 years or 20 years? And I think a lot of people, I, I think 
when you talk to m majority of the people, I think 20 years would be safe, but they all, the elected officials also want to be safe and get a yes vote on all these. So maybe 15 is more, more of a safe bet to go to get a winning election. Again, this all, all three of these were in one bill back in 2014 and it only passed 58%. And that's just, it's kind of crazy to think about it now, but uh, I think more people are, you know, more aware of county government and i think that's a good thing i think our elected officials have done a really really good job and they'll have more uh, uh, uh information to pass along of course I'll, I'll keep you as form as much as i can as well so that is the latest on sales tax here in logan county and uh, if you don't want if the fire chiefs had a great presentation at the board of county commissioner meeting on tuesday october 31st if you want to check that out that is on guthrie news page youtube and as all the commissioner meetings on there, I try to get to all of them. I miss a, a handful a year, but most of them are there. If you want to hear the fire chief's presentation, uh, check that video out. That'll do it here on this podcast. Appreciate you checking out. And uh, don't forget, secondmanatomedia.com, all the great podcasts over there. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce has a podcast. Uh, the High School Huddle is a busy time for high school football season. We have a podcast there. Open Mic, Ronnie, Phil, and I, we have a fun time with that. It's really fun, interactive. We have discussions like this, a little bit more deeper and more opinions uh, type of show. So always fun with your interactions. And we appreciate you check this out. That's every Wednesday night. Uh, begin at 6 o'clock and then at 7.30. So go to our YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe and like. That way you'll be notified. You don't have to remember any, any dates or times or anything like that. You'll be notified by your phone when we go live. So that'll do it. I hope you have a great November. Winter is here. Winter sports are on the horizon as well. Hope you have a great day.